No, this is not an ad for Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, but you know what? There is a bit of magic in there. I've uh, always been interested in cleaning because there's so much science involved in it. If you have a stain, what can you do? Well, you can try to dissolve it away using some sort of solvent. That's what dry cleaning is all about. Or you can use some chemical reaction to convert it into a different material. For example, that's what happens when you're using a bleaching agent. Or you can use an abrasive and just kind of scrape the stain off the surface. And that brings us to the magic eraser. What is it? Well, it looks like a sponge, but it isn't really a sponge. It's not the same material. This is something called melamine. And it's made by taking a chemical called melamine, reacting it with formaldehyde to make it into a polymer. And then carbon dioxide is blown into it, and that makes it into a foam. That's what we really have uh, here. However, uh, under pressure, when you moisten it and you rub it on a surface, it breaks down into microscopic sharp little particles that get in between the dirt and the surface. So basically, we're talking about a sandpaper-like effect, and it can be very effective at cleaning. For example, if you have grease built up on the oven door, this will take it off. It's very, very good for removing crayon from doors or from walls. Uh, it's very, very effective on, on uh, removing rust stains from your bathtub. Now, of course, there's a but. You can't use it on everything. You don't use it on your car. It will dull the, the surface. You don't use it on... on uh, stainless steel for the same reason, and you don't use it on nonstick cookware because it does uh, destroy the surface. So you always have to, to do a little test. If you have to clean something, do it somewhere in a, an area where you will notice if there's any kind of, of damage. But I've had very good uh, success with this on numerous kinds of uh, surfaces. There have been questions about the fact that it is manufactured using formaldehyde. Well, that is true. But once the formaldehyde has reacted with the melamine, there's no more formaldehyde left. So formaldehyde may be toxic, but there's none of it left in the, in the final product. However, it is an abrasive, and it can abrade your hand. So you want to be careful when you use it, and it, I think it's a good idea uh, to use a glove when, when you're uh, cleaning with it. So I think that uh, this is one of those rare cases where the advertising really does match <laughs> what the product can really deliver. And there really is a bit of magic in that magic eraser. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.